Hi everyone, for this video, I'm going to be looking at an example based on transformation matrices. If you aren't quite familiar on the basic theory, check out my previous video on how they operate. This is the example that we will be looking at today. Feel free to pause the video and give it a go before I work it out. Alright, so the question shows us that we have two frames. Our first frame being frame A and the second frame being frame B. Now frame B has undergone some translations and rotations around frame A. We know that frame B was initially rotated along the y-axis by 30 degrees, followed by a rotation in the x-axis by 60 degrees and a rotation in the z-axis by 30 degrees. The origin of frame B was then translated with position vector 10, minus 5, 4. So this would give the position vector of the origin of B relative to A. The first part of the question asks us to calculate the transformation matrix TAB, which simply is the rotation matrix RAB, the position vector of the origin of B, 0, 0, 0, 1. So the first step in calculating the transformation matrix is to calculate the rotation matrix, then substitute in the position vector, and finally find the transformation matrix. So let's see how this is done. To find the rotation matrix, RAB, we can multiply the individual rotation matrices, that would be RY, times Rx times Rz. The formula for these three rotation matrices are shown here and they were discussed in the previous video. What you have to do is plug in the relevant angle to the relevant rotation matrix and multiply them all together. So you would get for your rotation around the y-axis cos 30, 0, sine 30, 0, 1, 0, negative sine 30, 0, cos 30. This will be multiplied by a rotation in the x-axis. The matrix would be 1, 0, 0, 0, cos 60, minus sine 60, 0, sine 60, cos 60. And finally, rotation in the z-axis, cos 30, negative sine 30, 0, sine 30, cos 30, 0, 0, 0, 1. And by simplifying these three matrices, you would get root 3 over 2, 0, half, For Rx, it would be 1, 0, 0. And for Rz, you would get So to solve this, 
multiply all these three matrices together and when you do that you should get RAB as being equal to 0 0.967 negative 0 0.058 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.433 negative 0 0.866 negative 0 0.058 0 0.9 and 0 0.433 Using this, we can now find our transformation matrix TAB. A quick recap, this would be equal to RAB, the position vector of the origin of B relative to A, 0, 0, 0, 1. We just found our RAB and the question gave us TAB origin. So by substituting these in, you would get your RAB and your position vector as being 10, minus 5, 4. The last row would be 0, 0, 0, and 1. So this 4x4 four four matrix is our transformation matrix TAB. Now we'll have a look at the second part of the question. It shows a point defined in frame B with coordinates 6, minus 4, and 1. And this is given by the position vector PB. We would like to express this in terms of frame A, which would give us the position vector PA. So to do this, we can calculate our PA as being equal to the transformation matrix A to B into our PB. So you can see the two frames here match. And the frame here is the same as the frame that the answer would be given in. So you have the transformation matrix TAB and you just simply multiply this with the position vector 6 minus 4 1 and 1 to complete the matrix and by doing this you should get 16.28 negative 6.1 and 0 0.491 1. therefore your PA would be equal to 16.28 negative 6.1 and 0 0.49 so this shows that same point defined in B but now expressed in terms of frame A alright guys so that's all for this video if you liked it please click the like button below if you have any questions or clarifications on the example I just did, please feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. I hope this video helped and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe.